Between the first UCI World Championships, won by Gunnar Skold, and the last by Julian Alaphilippe, 99 years have gone by. Alfredo Binder conquered three rainbow jerseys. The world changed, moved, developed, and so did mentalities. Only a war stopped the world championships for a long and brutal pause between 1938 and 1946. And then came the 3rd of August, 1958, the very first edition of the UCI World Championships opened to women. 1958 in Reims, and Elsie Jacobs was the world champion. The young 25-year-old from Luxembourg became a pioneer, forever the first to win a women's road world championship. I'd say it was the beginning of a long adventure. When we see today the journey accomplished, the parity set up by the UCI, it started slowly and timidly in 1958, but it was something that was totally necessary. Like the world, cycling had evolved. Until 1974, the event was held on the good old European continent, including a visit to Great Britain in Leicester in 1970. The cycling world got a whole lot bigger in 1974. For the very first time, the championships left Europe, crossed the Atlantic to settle in Canada on a circuit designed in Montreal, where Genevieve Gambillon and Eddie Merckx were crowned. North America to start with, and then South America, Asia, and Australia. Men, women, and new disciplines. Alongside the traditional road race came the individual time trial in 1994. UCI World Championship Women's Individual Time Trial victory goes to USA's Karen Couric. Best time. Best time for Great Britain's Chris Boardman. Ensuite, il y a eu le, le compte de la monde par équipe. Then que came nous avons the team time trial that we transformed because world championships have to be competed by nations and not by trade teams. Latest evolution: the creation of a mixed relay combining men and women of one same nation. We kept the team time trial, but it became a race by nations in the essence of the World Championships. And with the evolution of cycling, it became mixed. The Netherlands triumphed in 2019 on the roads of Yorkshire. Nothing could stop the development of cycling and of its UCI Road World Championships around the world. And the rainbow jersey continues, more than ever, to be one of the greatest symbols of cycling.